welcome back to another episode of Balanced Life. Time for some tacos. How are those? <laughs> It's like best tacos I've had ever. I love them. <laughs> Today's episode, I'm diving with Kelly and Ainoa. Kelly's been taking lessons with me for the past few weeks, and I wanted to show some of his progress. Right there, he shot his first cole. Uh, he's finally getting his accuracy down with his gun. Um, but before I show you some more clips from today, I wanted to show you some clips from a week ago and show you his progress that he's made since then. So one of the main things I was trying to work with Kelly on is his entry. Right there you can see he's really struggling to get his legs up and over his body and he's spending a lot of energy kicking to try and get himself down. You can see he's just, he's spending a lot of energy trying to get his legs up and over right there. Um, but he started to be able to get pretty far down into the water, which was cool. You can see that he's holding his gun so that it's not very water dynamic. Towards the end of the dive, he started to get the vertical descent down. In this clip, I asked him to over-exaggerate throwing those legs up and over like that. So you could see he did a good job of that. I think from then on in this dive, he was able to understand more of what I was talking about, about getting the legs over like that. So now we're back up to speed. This is today. You can see he's a lot calmer in the water in his approach on this fish. He misses, but such a big difference in how comfortable he is in the water. Here on this drop, I wanted to demonstrate how to kind of tuck the gun up and under your arm so that you're a little more water dynamic. That's something that I'm working on with him, but he made a lot of improvement in a pretty short period of time. So that was really cool to see. In this little cave right here, I was just looking around seeing if there was any uh, target species that I could point out for Kelly for his drop on the next way down, there's a little menpachi there. And so on the next clip, you'll see that I have him go down into the same spot. It's so important with any kind of approach on fish to just be really calm through the water. The calmer your movements, the more likely you are to have fish approach you that you're gonna want to shoot. So he does a great entry right there, but then he has a long ways to swim over to that little hole. And that's something that I pointed out to him throughout the rest of the dive. While we were trying to get ourselves all settled in, we look over and Nainoa's pulled up this like 30 pound Alua. I was so stoked for that. That was really cool to see. He headed out of the water after that to get it on ice, but that was, that was awesome. Start to the day right there. This completely different story in how Kelly was diving now and the entries were looking so much better. He's a lot more comfortable in the water. He started hitting some depths of like 30 feet at least during this day. On this drop, 
I wanted to point out that Kelly would do a lot better if he was able to go straight down all the way to the bottom and stay put right where he's at instead of having to swim that extra 15 feet to get up over next to that ledge. Let me know if these videos are helpful though, if I'm saying some information that you think is gonna improve your diving for any of you new divers out there. On this drop, I was trying to show Kelly how to make your drop, go down, find your spot you want to be on the bottom, and just kind of stay put and do a little dusting and see if you can get any fish to come in instead of chasing after the fish once you're down there. Because if you've dove for a while, you know that that rarely ever works, like hardly ever. Uh, your fish will get spooked. I was looking out into the sand here, seeing if anything was coming in or if there was any moo out deeper. I was really looking for moo this day and I was actually able to get my first one ever and I was really stoked on that. But the camera died before that happened and I wasn't able to get any shots on any fish today actually. So that's something I'm gonna work on in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to show any of you new divers out there some of the ways that you can improve your diving, especially watching another new diver on camera. Hopefully that helps, but you can see just a little bit of dusting how even that little group of Polanis right there came in closer. Nothing in there that I wanted to shoot, but still cool to see. This is Kelly trying to go down to that same spot where I was just at. I mean, this guy's only been out diving in the water like four times, so he's doing really well. Still got to work on the breath hold, but that just comes with time. You know, a couple people have asked me about how to increase your breath hold time. And a lot of it, I think, can come with doing static breath hold, which is just exercises on land. And just getting your body used to holding your breath is one of the key things. So, yeah, just doing it more, honestly. Here's another drop. Get down to the bottom. Kind of tuck in underneath that ledge right there. This is kind of what it looked like when I did end up shooting the moo. So I tucked myself right up in next against the reef like that and did a little bit of dusting, stuck my head down and yeah, it came right in and I was able to line up a shot. I was, I was really happy about that. You'll see two small moo come in right there. But as they got closer, I noticed they weren't shooting size or anything like that. So I didn't try to get them to come in closer. Still cool to see them though. Between Kelly and I, we shot eight Roy that dive. There's my Moo and got a Moonu. Nice size one. And we were able to steam that up that night, have dinner. Really good fish. steamed half of the moo. We had that for dinner last night and it was delicious. Did it with a little bit of mayo and sriracha and some green onions, garlic, ginger. All the works turned out really well. It's like one of our favorite fish to eat for sure now. She's ready to get in the water so we're gonna go do that now but tonight uh, I'm gonna share with you one of like the recipes that my family used to cook salmon in Alaska. And I'm really 
excited to see how it's going to turn out. And we'll have that for you tonight. Stay tuned. How was it?